Hi, this is Mr. Campbell from MrCampbellRocks.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an assignment to one or more of your Google Classroom classes. In the previous video, we showed you how to create a class. And what I'm going to do is show you now how to uh, add an assignment. So you have a couple different options um, for adding an assignment. You can add it to an individual class if you have uh, different preps or different classes that you're teaching. Uh, so for example, I have three honors classes and three um, regular classes in ninth grade. So I would add assignments to my three honors and my three regular classes separately. Uh, but for today's video, we're going to show you just how to do it to one class or all of your classes. You can kind of pick and choose. Now, the great thing about uh, the Google Classrooms, obviously, as we talked about in the last video, is that it's connected to your Google Drive and Google Docs, spreadsheets, and uh, forms. So when you get to your uh, Google Classroom, you're going to pick any class and you're going to click on Assignment. And what you're going to do is you're going to give the title of Assignment. You're going to give it a due date and the calendar uh, pops up so you can do that. You can even add a time if you want to do that. Now, I, I mentioned earlier where you can actually add anything from your Google Drive. There's a lot of things that you can do here. Um, you can attach a file if it's a Word doc or an Excel document or a photograph or something like that. You can actually go into your Google Drive. So what we'll do is we'll go into our Google Drive um, and I will just upload... Um, something from seventh grade when I taught seventh grade. This is just for an example. We will add that. Now one of the great things about this is you can actually add multiple assignments or um, multiple references to this. So let's say I have a spreadsheet. I want to add a uh, video here. Um, I can add a video and I can also add a link if I want to send the kids out into the, the internet to look at uh, another document. I could do that. Um, <clears throat> now, with this, as you notice, when I added a Google Sheet or a Google document, it's going to give me um, the option to let the kids view the file, edit the file, or make a copy for each student. Now, depending on how you want that assignment to work, uh, the, the best option is probably to make a copy for each student and then just have them rename that before they turn it in with their name on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to make a copy for each student. Now, you'll notice below here, this is where you have the option to add more classes. So if I wanted to add it to all of my classes, I would just click on these boxes. If I just wanted to add it to my honors classes, I would just add it to the honors and you can kind of go from there. I'm actually just gonna leave it in period eight, which is a test period for this video. And when you're done, you can click assign. Now, when it's done assigning, uh, what you'll see here is you'll see the little counter here. And when your students come in and finish this assignment or submit it back to you, it will show that you have, let's say five of your 30 students don't uh, um, forget to turn it in or don't turn it in. It will say 25 have been done, five have been done. And I will actually put that together in a future video. Now the nice thing is, is once the assignment has been sent out, uh, maybe you wanna make some changes with it or you wanna add something later or you wanna extend the due date. You can go back into the assignment, click edit, and you can change any of that information that you had done previously. I can change the time, I can change the due date, I can add uh, more instructions or uh, description, I can add another video, I could give a better spreadsheet, whatever you wanted to do there. So as we finish, here you go. If students have comments down below here or you want to add a comment, you can add comments to individual assignments or they can add individual uh, comments to individual assignments as well. I plan on using uh, part of this as a forum where the students come in and can talk about different articles to get some baseline information or a foundation for an article that we'll be using in class called Articles of the Week.
you have any questions, you can email me at mrcampbellrocks at gmail.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.